Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video on my channel. So something I'm going to show you is regarding the binding contracts. Now binding contracts at the minute, the prices for three of the monsters, the Hellhound, Kalgarian Demon, and the Blood Reaver are through the roof. Um, both them and the scrolls, they are just so high at the minute that it's worth doing binding contracts. Now what I'm going to do is just show you a quick video. I actually promised to do a couple of months ago and I never actually did it, so here we are. Um, of how to make your binding contract as quick as you can. So you can make binding contracts by teleporting back and forth to the bank or by the use of the Tavari sort of obelisk, we can go and make them and force train them quite quick. So I'm just going to buy the items for it now. So for a binding contract, you are going to need to use two of each, I believe. There we go. So price is 20k of Hellfire Metal, which is extortionate. I've got ripped off there. And just under 17k for Blood of Orcus. Again, Hellfire Metal were normally the same price as Blood. But again, we'll work off this because then it could be worst case. So we've spent... So 20.3 and 17k for that. And we are going to need some charms. So you use Blues and Crimsons. If you don't have any Blues or Crimson charms, go in AFK some Arch Glacor. It'll give you some AFK Mage XP. Um, it'll give you some decent money in the mix. The Wemp Books prices are quite high. And the pages are also like through the roof. And um, you'll get plenty of chance to be able to do this method afterwards. So I'm going to go to Tavoli now. Which is pretty much the only obelisk you can do it at. Because you've got the availability of selling to the store. Or to the person who helps you with um, doing the summoning side. Again, this doesn't just work for obelisks. If you needed to power train your summoning pouches especially on a bonus XP weekend when time is tight. This is a great method as well. You are technically selling to the shop and then buying back. So go here. So if you needed anything like shards or pouches or any other supplies we're going to use, you can buy either from here or if you needed quite a high percentage of shards, the pet shop owner does sell that as well. So we can buy, we'll buy them. So if we click on the infuse pouch, so mega sticks is basically like where you're going to be trading. So what I do, I do it 50 at a time, and then I will just go and buy 10. There's a way to sort of set your info up, so really we can do 11 at a time. So what you do, once you click, this is going to use a binding pouch. So for each binding pouch, you're going to use 10 Hellfire Metal and 10 Blood of Orcus. One pouch, one charm, and actually you don't need Crimson, it's just Blues. Um, that shows what I know. But again, it actually works out because it gives us like something to hold into an info space. So just to price check that, it is going to be two Hellfire Metals, which is actually 40.6, 34k for your Blood of Orcus, 5k for your Shard, and then pretty much a couple of GP, which we can sort of like write off. So all in, you're just going to be under 80k for your Binding Contract. So we need to find decent monsters which can actually like do it. But again, this is like how you can train and how you can make your binding contract at a relatively like decent speed. And then because of this, and we've got our holders, you can just go 10 and 10. Now, admittedly, you're on a clock against this as well. So as you're doing this, the shop is taking your um, items out as stock. So you need to be very quick. Now, in this time we've been talking, I've lost three of each. And in that case, we've sort of lost like 100k. We'll make it back through what we're going to be doing anyway. But just be aware, you are very much on a timer. And this is pretty much all you do. You make your pouches, you trade mega sticks, and you just buy out whatever you've got left. So then we're going to sell our stuff again. And that is pretty much it. All you need to do is get into a relatively decent rhythm and you can make quite a few of the contracts per hour. And again, if you have a way of like putting in like stoppers and stuff like that or items which can like hold, hold space and stuff, again, it's whatever works best for you. For me, I go a bit chaotic and a bit quick and sometimes it does come back and bite quite severely. So there we go. So in the space of like two, three minutes, we've made 45 binding contract pouches. These were invested 80K each. We pretty much lost three of each. So we have lost a little bit of money there, but again, explaining price checking is where I've lost that as well. But you only need blue charms and not crimsons. So that is a learning experience for us all. But again, that can be done similarly with pouches. Um, so what I'll do now, and it's a very good method for training various different things. So I'm going to take, I'm sure I've got some sharks. There we go. So we're going to go and make some bunyip pouches because I, I'm flying through them and I'm using them quite a lot. At some point as well, bunyips were making 15k a pouch and I weren't quick enough to catch it. So again, 
and that's how things can randomly make money if there is a huge demand. But this uh, method is brilliant for burning through, burning through things like your golds and your greens and charms you don't want to use. But also if you want to achieve the major like heights of pouches, um, this is a very good method. So in terms of summoning pouches, there's a few things you can do. Either what I would probably do, and I've actually forgot to do, um, bring magic note paper and note your pouches. For the price of magic note paper, oh, there's a penguin there. For the price of the magic note paper, you're going to save it with your pouches, or you can also change it into scrolls. The scrolls, it depends how like picky you are about profits and stuff like that. The scrolls, you can just continuously like keep doing it, um, and you'll be able to reclaim the shards from your scrolls or sell them on a grand exchange, whichever you prefer. But your main focus is to stay at the obelisk and continuously making pouches. That's where you're going to get the most summon XP. It's where you're going to make the most pouches per hour. So you have two options. And sometimes on a bonus XP weekend, actually, there is a third option. And someone will actually drop a portable bank. If they drop the portable bank, that's when it's easy. Um, and you can just sit and just throw them into the portable bank. But apart from that, you have the two options of either using magic note paper or turn them into scrolls. So for this case, because I'm going to use them, I'm just going to turn them into pouches. But again, all you do, pouch, no paper, trade, shark, that, trade. And you can see like how you can do so many so quick. Again, you'll misclick, I misclick. So if you wanted to do the scrolls, create the pouches, then click on the obelisk again, and then click into the pouch. So it's whichever you want to do, which one, whichever one is quicker for you. So with that one, we've managed to save bunyip pouches with the 3k each, and we're actually going to make some money, even if we do like, countering the cost of the note paper but if you have untradeable note paper something like this is the perfect way to use it so that's it but i hope you've enjoyed obviously i hope you guys have like seen this for what it is it's a fantastic way to make binding contracts very quick but also to make summoning pouches very quick as well bonus xp weekend for summoning this is the only place i would really recommend training your summoning and binding contracts at the minute if you have a task which has one of the binding contract creatures you must take a, a binding contract spell with you the money's just too good to turn down at the minute. So yeah, definitely look at doing that. But that is the end of this video. I'm actually going to give you all a treat and we're going to open that penguin crate we've found. But apart from that, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave me a like. Please subscribe to the channel. Anything you guys want to see, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to make sure that video is released for you. And we got an easy clue. And will we get a fort? Yes, we will. Black plate body. And on that, that is the end. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys very soon for the next one.